So today is Saturday. We're just kind of hanging out here a little bit on the terrassa. Uh, Sherilyn is working on making some kimchi, kind of an emergency kimchi. More like sauerkraut at this point. Sauerkraut? Okay. Kimchi can happen next week. Okay. Uh, and that's because we have some vegetables that are going bad. We don't ref use refrigeration here. And uh, right now it's a little harder for us to get supplies uh, because we're not going into town very much. Uh, over here, uh, we're making some tortillas and guacamole. The tortillas are getting made on the wood-fired stove. And uh, how's that going? It's great. It's going to be yeah. delicious. Excellent. Uh, the avocados were purchased from a town nearby. Just bought a box of avocados straight from the farmer, so that's going to be a better price. Um, and uh, what else is going on today? I've got uh, this cool object here. This is a um, INK bird, ink bird. Anyway, it's a temperature controller that you can do these complex settings on, and it has a, a thermometer, uh, a temperature uh, sensor on it. What I'm going to use that for is to fix my chicken incubator, my chicken egg incubator. Uh, you can also incubate like quail eggs and duck eggs and other things, but I'll be using it for chicken eggs. And that's because I don't currently have any chickens. Uh, a friend has a few that are here. But I'm going to start a new flock, and uh, it's a lot faster to get a flock going with an incubator than it is to wait for a chicken to go broody. So uh, I'm very excited about this. I, in the past, bought a, a low-quality one that was made just for chicken incubators, and it just went bad. It was too cheap. This is more expensive, but it can handle like up to 1,200 watts of things. It can handle a cooling unit and also a, a heating unit. Uh, so I'm even thinking about this kind of an object as controlling the temperature on a root cellar where you could have an additional uh, solar powered refrigeration unit that only operates during the day with no batteries or that could run a fan at night if the night air was colder than the air in the, in the, in the root cellar. So anyway, I'm excited to play with that new toy. Uh, and I'm also just excited to be out in general. Uh, I still can't walk except with a walker, so it's fairly hard for me to go anywhere. Uh, even though I'm in the Bosque now, I don't feel like it. I'm just stuck up at the view, and so, you know, I'm just starting to get stronger, and today we drove me down here in the van, so I get to hang out in this very excellent, beautiful terrassa in the shade, which is nice because it's a very strong sun out there. Oh. 